Now let's summarize everything that we have said in this class. We started this class describing the movement. Okay, so at the ankle joint is a hinge joint, uh, the talocrural joint, we can perform plantar flexion when you lift the heel from your, the floor and you're walking on the tippy toes. The dorsiflexion, now you're walk, walking on your heels. On the, at the intertarsal joints, we can evert and invert the foot. Eversion is when you move the sole of your foot away from the midline or away from the body. And inversion, you move the sole of your foot or, uh, towards the midline. Uh, in, this is another example. Another way to explain it maybe, dorsiflexion, you are approaching your toes towards your leg. Dorsiflexion. Plantar flexion is the opposite. Okay, you're putting your toes away from the leg. This is a subtle movement, plant, uh, I'm sorry, dorsiflexion. This is the one that uh, when we're walking, lift the, the, the foot, okay? Dorsiflexes the foot so we don't drag the, the toes. Inversion, again, towards the midline. Eversion towards or away from the midline. Here we can see flexion of the toes and extension or if you may, hyperextension of the toes. Now, where are the muscles that we covered today? All of these muscles we know already. And we know all of these movements and we know all of these nerves and we can say who is doing, which muscle are doing what, okay? I'm gonna trace a line in here, okay? And a line in here and maybe a dotted line in here okay so all of this is the posterior compartment this is the superficial layer this is the deep layer of the posterior compartment this is the lateral compartment and this is the anterior compartment well this one is only on your foot okay so flexion of the leg, which of these muscles can perform flexion of the leg? The only ones are crossing posteriorly the knee joint, right? So in there we have gastrocnemius, plantaris, and popliteus too. Now let's see who can, or which muscle can, white, really? Not right. Okay, which muscle can maybe rotate the leg? And we know that because we have the single popliteus, which function is to unlock the knee when we are going to start flexing the knee to join, uh, to walk. In green, which muscle can dorsiflex your foot? That is easy. Any muscle that is located on the anterior compartment. We All of these four. Tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus, and fibularis tertius. All of them can dorsiflex your foot. Let's see now who, which muscle can plantar flex the foot. All of them, except the anterior compartment, except, actually, let's name them. Plantar flexion, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. Uh, the entire triceps suri can plantar flex your foot. Plantaris can plantar flex your foot. Popliteus, not really. You just go from tibia to, to femur. It doesn't cross the ankle joint. But all of these muscles can plantar flex your foot as well. Tibialis posterior and the two flexors, tibiotorum and hallucis longus. Now, let's see which muscles can invert your foot. Okay, in here we have, in the anterior compartment, tibialis anterior, in the posterior compartment, tibialis posterior, and the two flexors, okay? So we have the inverters like in the, in the anterior and posterior compartment. Which muscles can mm, evert the foot? Only the ones are called fibularis. So fibularis longus, fibularis brevis, and fibularis tertius. Only the ones are called fibularis. Which muscles can yellow 
can uh, flex the toes. That is easy, right? Including the hallux, okay? Let's include the, here the hallux. So uh, flexors in the posterior, we have here flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus. And which muscles can extend the toes? Well, that will be extensor digitorum longus and extensor digitorum brevis. And I'm missing one. Extensor digitorum, oh, okay. Longus, extensor digitorum brevis and extensor hallucis longus, okay? So you can, as you study, you can color code these and then you say, whoa, look at that. For example, uh, try, uh, look, the only muscle that it has only one color is the popliteus, is the soleus because gastrocnemius has black. So these are pure muscles. The other ones have at least two actions, okay? Um, let's review now, going back to, I'm sorry, it went way too, far too bad. To, let's describe the nerves, okay? Which muscles are innervated by the deep fibular nerve? Easy. All of them that are in the anterior compartment of the leg and extensor digitorum brevis, which is the, uh, the muscle on the dorsum of your foot, okay? Which uh, muscles are innervated by the superficial fibular nerve? Only two, the ones on the lateral compartment of the leg, and which muscles are innervated by the tibial nerve? The rest, the entire posterior compartment. In here, pretty easy. See you in the next video. Let's talk about anatomy surface. Surface anatomy. <laughs> this is the end of the day. See you.